What's up, everybody? Welcome back into the Sports Forum Radio Show here on 98.1 FM Mile High Sports. We are now joined by a very special guest today. Been looking forward to getting this man on the show, Mr. Roy Jackson Jr., a.k.a. Rack the GOAT is in the building. Celebrity basketball player, man. It is so good to see you. So good to have you on the show. Thanks for some of your time. How's your Saturday going? Oh, everything going wonderful so far. Just blessed to be here. Yes, sir. Absolutely, man. Looking forward to chatting it up with you. So right out the gate, man, I said celebrity basketball player. Obviously, you've been a pro for seven years. You've been playing in a lot of different places across the world. Just to name a few of them, Italy, Mexico, Spain, Qatar. Can you kind of talk to me, man, about what it's like being overseas? I've talked to one or two other guys that have kind of done that journey, and they say it's just so cool. The people, the experiences. What was it about traveling abroad that you would say you enjoyed the most? And of those four locations, what's the best one people have to go to? Oh, yeah. Well, I can start it off. The best one that I've been to, like, plan-wise, is Italy, like, hands down. Mm. Like, uh, the food is good. The, the people, mm -hmm. they just welcome you with open arms. So that's definitely a place, like, if you haven't been to Italy, you definitely got to go that way. And I feel like out of all those places, it's just like, they welcome me with open arms. So it's just like traveling 20 hours on a plane, you know, to a whole different country. It's, it's mm -hmm. different. Like my first year was tough, you know, but after I got to plan the second, third, fourth year, everything just got easier, you know? And then mm. like, like after I got done playing basketball, you know, I just got into, you know, celebrity basketball, you know, traveling to different states. Not last year, I went to um, Virginia with something in the water. I went to Rolling Loud in Miami. I went to Atlanta mm. for tours for Tots, you know, and just, you know, traveling. It's, it's, I love it, you know, the kids taking pictures and everything. So it's, yeah. it's a blessing just to be able to travel the world and to do the thing you love to do. And you just mentioned the kids, man, and helping out the kids. And I can tell just by looking at your pages, guys, once again, on Instagram, rack the goat, two K's, two E's and two T's. But my man, I can tell on there, you are the CEO of Dreams 2 Reality Basketball. It sure looks like that's a lot of high school kids, younger kids. I always see you kind of being that mentor to those kids. Can you talk a little bit about what Dreams 2 Reality is and why'd you get it going? Uh, Dreams Reality is a recruiting service, and I got it going about 2019. I always had the idea, but I had my son, who name is Legend, and I was looking at him one day holding a ball, and I'm just like, that's going to be my logo. So it's, it's funny because, like, he's my logo, and, like, I just did my first annual um, Dreams Reality High School All-American game when it was the top 20 um, kids in the state of Michigan. I just did that um, May 4th, and I'm recently about to do my um, back-to-school basketball camp where I give away book bags and school supplies August 16th and 17th at my high school at Flint Hamity. So um, Dreams Reality is just a platform that I came up with when I got done playing professional basketball just to give back and help the youth. Because, you know, like with the um, transfer portal and everything, now it's tough for kids mm -hmm. to, you know, get to college. So. I use my platform where I have about over 150 college coaches. And I, you know, I just tell them, like, make sure you got the grades and the film, and I put them in my database to every coach. And if a coach love them, they hit me back, and, you know, we could talk about getting them a full-ride scholarship. It's awesome stuff, man. There's not enough people out in the community doing what you're doing, so I appreciate what you're doing out there, man. But I do want to jump on over and talk to you a little bit about this, these celebrity platforms, these big time places that you're playing, some of the people that I know you've been playing with. Just for our listeners out there that are wondering, you know, we say celebrity, what kind of celebrities are you playing with? Just to name a few, Moneybag Yo, Boozy, Huncho, DD Osama. I mean, and the list goes on, man. So what's it like playing with guys like that? Um, just overall, man, you know, like what, what's that experience like? I, I assume there's very few people in the world that get to experience something like that. Oh, yeah, the experience, I like the experience is it's, it's amazing because I know, like, down in uh, Miami, you know, like with finesse two times, just like seeing those guys up close and personal, and then like after a while, they just become your friend, you know, just like when mm -hmm. I was in Atlanta, I played with Hancho and Didi Osama and King, you know, so it's just like it's 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 fun. You know, mm -hmm. like, because playing professional basketball, you know, you be serious and everything. But 
when you get on that celebrity platform and you playing with, you know, like rappers, content creators, YouTubers, you know, it's just all fun. And then like, it's just, it's a feeling that, you know, like most people would never experience, you know? Mm -hmm. So I'm just blessed with the opportunity to be, you know, playing aside them. And then, you know, after the game, you know, we just chop it up, you know, and then we, we homeboys. Absolutely. So you talked about dreams to reality. Now you're talking about these guys getting comfortable with these guys, kind of making friendships like that. Can you kind of give me some advice for those young kids that watch you, those high school kids and even younger than that? I'm sure at this point in your career, you've at the point where you kind of mentioned it like, yeah, you got to go out there. You got a ball when it's time to be a pro. It's time to be a pro. But at the same time, it sounds like you're having fun doing that. So what what's that light switch do you think that kids need to realize like, yo, this is the way you got to play, or this is some advice I have for you in the sense of it's not always about business. Like it could be business, but it could be fun at the same time. Oh uh, yeah. I always tell every kid I come across, like you got to love the game of basketball. Like it's something you can't, you know, they always be like, be serious all the time, but it's times, like you said, we got to turn our light switch on and off. Like, you know, in high school and a pro, it's all about seriousness, you know, because you, when you're in high school, you're trying to get to that next level. And that next mm -hmm. level is college. And then after college, you're trying to reach that pro level, which everyone don't reach that pro level. But that yep. doesn't mean you still can't have fun with the game. Like, it's different type of platforms out here, you know, this. Like, one of my uh, close friends, uh, Yak Finest, he plays on the next chapter. And, you know, that's like a one-on-one -on -one platform, five-on-five -five platform. Mm -hmm. and he prosper in that lane. So it's just, it's different views you can take and lanes you can take that you can still have fun with the game. Like, it's just not always about seriousness and business because sometimes yep. you could just take having fun with the game and you could have, make millions. Like, even like subscribers and YouTubers, it's different yep. ways to have fun with the game. Absolutely, man. But, hey, let's talk about having fun with the game because you got a big one coming up here in the Mile High City. You already know we're going to be out there. Really looking forward to seeing you live in action. But, Talk to me just a little bit about this one coming up here, the Mile High Celebrity Game, Saturday, July 6th. What's going on, man? People that want to come out and support, what can they expect at that event? Uh, they can expect, you know, like high-flying entertainment. You know, we got um, some of the local rappers that's going to be there. You know, Trev Rich, he's down in Denver. Yep. Um, I believe Juju, he was a high school kid. He just signed with college, uh, I think um, – I think it was Ottawa. I can't remember which college it was exactly, but he did sign with a college. So it's going to be like a lot of the people in Denver that's, you know, that's well known that I feel like you should bring and the, the friends, family should come out and have a good time. Um, this would be my second, actually my second year playing it. Anyway, shout out to, you know, um, Diamond and Talisa for putting this event together too, because, you know, I, I love coming out to Denver, you know, because they always show love out there and it's just, I know this year going to be bigger than it was the year before. You know, mm -hmm. you got different type of vendors, like two of the teams, like I'm on team um, Gritta Collective and you got Humble and Hungry. So it's going to be, it's going to be fun. Like it's, it's, it's an experience. And like I told Diamond, I'm, I might not come along. I, I might bring a celebrity or two with me. I like it. I was just going to ask you. So you got Gritta Collective, which is the team you're playing for versus Humble and Hungry. What I mean, you know, not that you want to talk any smack on here, but you know, what can we expect out of Gritted Collective versus Humble and Hungry? You know, what makes you guys better than them? Oh, Gritted Collective, you know, we gonna come with it. You know, just like I told Diamond, I'm flying in. Like I said, I might bring. I ain't no telling who I might bring in with, but you know. So it's just like <laughs> I feel. I know we are gonna take take the dub. So I mean, it's gonna be all love and fun at the end of the day, but. You know, I rack to go. He don't like to lose and like nothing he do. So it's just like I think out of all mm -hmm. the games I played in, I probably lost one game. And that was in a mile high the year before. So I don't plan on losing again. Absolutely, man. Guys, if you want to come out to that one, general admission, $10. VIP tickets are $60. Door price is going to be $20. Once again, that is Saturday, July 6th. We'll have all that information up on our social media, on our Twitter, and our Instagram at Denver Forum, so you guys can check it out there. Oh, yeah. But, you know, shout out to Rojo Talent. You know, uh, she, my man, uh, she, she managed me. Her name is Pearl. Um, she, she got her hands in a lot of different things, like a lot of different celebrity games. She managed a lot of different like rappers too. So it's just like she's mm -hmm. in the movies. Anything you can think of, she does. And I was just blessed to come across her across her, you know, and I was actually playing in the game and I was just like, 
you know what? I, I want to take this a little bit more serious. And mm -hmm. when I tell you, she had me booked like from Miami, Atlanta, Denver, New Jersey, any place you can think of, like she always had me booked and ready to go. So I just want to give her a big shout out because without her, like would none of this be possible. Shout out to Rojo. Like he, uh, our man Roy just said, guys, he's got some stuff coming up in New Jersey, Atlanta, Virginia, Miami, Denver, obviously, and the list goes on. So, guys, once again, we'll have that up on all of our pages. You guys got to give him a follow at Rack the Goat on Instagram, my man. Any other shout outs for you, for the family, the friends, maybe a little smack talk for the tournament? What you got for us? Oh, uh, yeah. Just shout out to a couple of friends. You know, my, my guy, Heavy Guy, who was just out here. Um, a big shout out to, you know, Dreams Reality, you know, some of my supporting staff as well. Um, shout out to Talisa and Diamond for putting this my celebrity game together. And like I said, I'm flying in soon. So I just hope Humble <laughs> Home be ready because we're taking that win home. Absolutely, man. We're going to be out there, guys, shooting that one. You're going to see some nice flicks from our man, Mr. Roy Jackson Jr. here, guys. So you got to pull up and come enjoy the game. But my man, appreciate some of your time. Best of luck in the tournament. Safe travels out to Denver, Colorado, and we will see you when you get here.